So, in the previous example, we took our buffered writer object, we tap it into file writer object, which tapped it into a file object. So, file writer object takes a parameter of file type to do its job. If you only give it an object of file type, it will going to certainly write and overwrite, but will not append. If you want to append, you call the constructor of file writer type that takes two parameters. First one will be a file object, and second one will be true, which means I now want to open a file for appending purpose instead of overwriting purpose. So now where I say this is my Java data for the file from buffered writer, so I'll say write, and I'm changing my output to append done. Now when I run this program, it says append done. I double click on names.txt and notice it now, since I did not put a line break there, therefore it simply added to, to the end of the existing line. So using slash n at the beginning of your content will going to force your content to appear on a new line. So now in my names.txt, appending Java data for the file appears on a new line.